why did Keith write this book and say all these nasty things about Nick? I don't really understand that at all. I mean, uh, the, the, the book to me shows Keith as quite dislikable um, and a bit of a fantasist as well. Um, he says some things that we could, you know, he, was, he said he, he crept into Marianne Faithful's bedroom and, and made love to her. And when he heard Mick coming back, he got through the window and left his socks behind. When he says that happened, uh, Marianne was uh, heavily pregnant and living in Ireland. Couldn't possibly have happened. Um, he says that he always says that when they went to Chess Records in the six district to record in Chicago, Muddy Waters was the janitor. We always doing painting and decorating in the lobby. Muddy Waters was the biggest star of chess in the sixties. It couldn't possibly have happened. Um, and I, I, I think, I mean, if I had to trust my safety to either Mick or Keith, I would choose Mick any time. You know, I think Mick is essentially has quite good values under all that st shiny star glitter. Whereas I think Keith is a pretty dangerous character. Can you explain a bit more? Well, <clears throat> I'm not saying that, you know, he's, he's very clear that uh, he's given up uh, hard drugs and alcoholism, but some of these people, are, though they give up the addiction, they still behave like alcoholics and <laughs> drug addicts. Um, I think, he's, as comes out from his book, he's extremely unpredictable and his temper is very... Even there was one point when the only person who dared to wake him up was his small son. Cause oh, he kept, Marlon. Because he kept a, a revolver under his pillow. He loves, you know, always has loved guns and knives and a thoroughly dangerous character. Um, women. Um, the one thing that, that um, how is his relationship with his, with, from uh, Mick, Mick has with his mom? He was very nice to his parents. Um, his mother was a bit, so his mother was socially ambitious actually, um, in her own small way, and I think he perhaps inherited that side of his character from her. He was extremely close to his father, who was very, very straight, um, very correct, a school teacher. Um, his, his mother died before his father, so his father spent time with him as a widower, and Mick was very attentive to his dad. He's a very good father to his own children, seven children by four women. Um, not a great husband, but a very good father. I think as if I... Um, he has had many, many relationships with women. Um, can you, what, how do you compare his relation to his mom to the relationship that he has with, uh, with women? His parents were quite sort of stern disciplinarians. Um, his mother was very uh, house proud, um, liked a spotless, spotlessly clean and tidy home and all of that. I don't think there's any correlation between his mother and his choice of his his choice of women wives. Oh, but in the book, there's been said that that his that his mom liked his brother more than she did Mick. That's true. I've heard that, uh, and and he he was thought to be quite insecure at the beginning of his career as well. He didn't like the, the role that Andrew Oldham wanted him to play. He was uneasy with it. Um, and his mother used to rather laugh at him, I think, at the early, the early days of the Stones and make fun of him. Can his, the way his, uh, his womanizing and his, well, being unfaithful and not giving himself more to women than they do to him, can it also relate from his relationship with his mom? Well, I, I can't speculate on that. Um, he doesn't really give himself in any way. He doesn't give himself in his music. He's always playing a role in his music. Uh, there, there is nothing about Mick in any of Mick's songs. Um, he invents a character and plays the character. Um, he doesn't give, you know, think of those, uh, think of that, uh, of people say their great album is Exile on Main Street. I don't think it is, but that was recorded in the south of France over a quite long, sort of t tormented sort of period. There is not one breath of France on that album. You know, no, no, no nothing French leaked into it at any point. It's all about Appalachian mountain music. Um, Mick does not give himself away in anything. How would you describe his relationship with women? 
for a long time it was um, just what young young men and young pop stars were supposed, you know, it conformed to the stereotype. Lots of casual affairs, um, treating with contempt. You know, this was before feminism. Um, the, you know, lots and lots of groupies on the road, um, no consequences because of the contraceptive pill. There was a funny convention, strange now to talk about it, among these groupies that they never sold their stories to the newspapers. They never went public on their adventures with these rock stars like Mick. They just talked to each other about it. And this, this was a, a very safe kind of life, you know, none of, your, none of it got back to your real girlfriend or your wife or whoever it was. Um, they had a totally charmed existence, like sort of Droit de Seigneur in the 18th century in France.